Hi, I'm Will Monroe. And I'm Ksenia Chirova. And this is our game, Bounce. Bounce is a logic and puzzle game inspired by the game Chip Challenge. You're Phil, the intrepid red rubber ball making his way through a series of mazes. The objective of the game is to collect all the gems in each level. We designed the levels to start out simple and increase in difficulty so the player can learn as he plays. This second level features some of the dangers that Phil can run into while trying to reach all the gems. Here, two obstacles prevent Phil from getting to the gem. On one side, there are treacherous waters, which Phil can fall into if he's not careful. On the other side, there are some obviously dangerous fireballs. However, while Phil can't move the water, he can push the crate that's strategically placed to let him divert the course of the fireball. We've implemented a number of graphical features to improve the realism of the game. For example, the water tiles reflect the scene around them. Instead of using an environment map which would reflect only the sky, we made an extra rendering task to do the scene upside down. We then mapped the scene onto the surface of the water generated by displacing vertices. To make ripples in the reflection, we sampled the scene image with the perturbed normals of the water surface. The appearance of the fireballs is created with two particle emitters, one for the hot white core and one for the redder tail. The particles shrink the farther they get from the fireball's center, giving them a distinctive tapered tail. The rock at the center is rendered with full brightness to give a glowing effect. The fireballs move all at once in discrete steps, although they're animated to look as though they're moving smoothly. The player, however, can move at any time, out of sync with the fireball's motion. This allows the player to disrupt the flow of the fireballs in order to solve levels with logical thinking. Shadows were important for distinguishing spatial relationships in an often repetitive scene, as well as for maintaining consistency with the surrounding sunset sky. We used percentage closer filtering with an 8x8 box kernel to smooth the edges of the shadows. We put special effort into the items because of their importance to the game. The gems are rendered with refraction as well as reflection to simulate the physical properties of them. We also generate a new normal for the model files to emphasize the facets of the diamond. Oh, and while we had reflections in water, we decided we had to put ice into the game somehow. The sliding game logic makes levels that seem simple devilishly tricky to solve. As a final touch, the game can load levels from an easy-to-read, easy-to-create file format that will allow us to expand the game and include many more interesting puzzles in the future. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.